sector and I create a few successful applications uh, for example woof, UNAF, folder color, anois and I failed in another one in open markets. Uh, I would like to share my experience and try to learn from them. Then let's start. Uh, we will review each one of them and how to make your Libre project a successful project. Let's start with Goof. Goof is, was created uh, nine years ago uh, because Canonical released an uh, uncomplicated firewall, a command line tool. Uh, it was a, a tool without user interface. Then I create one for them. And in the first day, it has 1,000 downloads. The, the, the hype was there. And uh, UNAF, I create UNAF because I was lost with my Ubuntu phone when I was going to a town. It should take uh, one hour and it took three hours. Then I said to myself, uh, what can I do about that? Could I create one GPS navigator? Then I tried it uh, and I, I did. And uh, this is, in my opinion, the application with more hype and everyone love. I think because it's a mobile application and it is very, really critical in the phone. Uh, a phone without a GPS navigator is... Then it has a lot of hype too. And for the color, uh, this is my girlfriend's idea. Uh, it is, I create, I release that in the Ubuntu store as a paid application, but Libre application too. But it didn't get a post from uh, from blogs. It didn't get anything. Uh, it had uh, 100 uh, downloads, three dollars for download. And uh, after one year, I released it as a free, as in freedom, and as free, as in free beer. Beer. Uh, and then a lot of, of blogs talked about it, uh, come most uh, user activity, feedback, book, bugs, etc., etc. Then the hype came after that. And a noise started under the radar. And it was really relevant when two blogs spoke about it, uh, Web App H and OMG Ubuntu, and it uh, gave a lot of activity from the users. And Open Markets. Open Markets was, um, was um, a project for rate place by price. It is just only a web. I didn't have an Android phone in that time. Then I could, and the usability in the phones was really bad. And uh, was the, the unique project without a community behind. Then um, it didn't work. After one year, I migrated to open stream apps. More user activity uh, came, but not enough. Uh, I should have uh, millions of reviews of the place, of each place. It's something like Google Place now. And without activity, it will be de dead. And then, anyway, uh, I, get, uh, I got a lot of knowledge from open markers into NAF, for example, about the maps. And, uh, uh, what do the, uh, these projects have in common? Uh, there is not an alternative from them when I create them. Uh, they are libre software and uh, there is a community behind, the Ubuntu community in this case. And after a few years, uh, Folder Color and Goof was pre-installed by the four in Ubuntu Mate, and UNAF was pre-installed by the four by the four in, Ubu in Ubuntu Phone. This um, this get a lot of feedback, a, a, a lot of uh, uh, bugs, a lot of ideas, a lot of users 
even developers, and then this was incredible for me. And uh, what uh, what did I learn from all of these projects? Uh, you have to believe in your idea, and you have to believe in your community. You can wait for a community going to, to uh, coming to you. You have to believe in your community. The community will promote your work, and your work with uh, will have hype. And like Martin Wimpress <laughs> told us yesterday night, uh, how many less time you invert in your code will be better. Why? Because you will have a lot of users, activity users, uh, writing you emails, writing you ideas, and you will have no time for the code. <laughs> then I think it's better that. And uh, about the software, you have to remember everything is a bazaar. You have to work every day uh, a lot, uh, uh, maybe a bit every day until you will never stop your code, your project. Um, you will get ideas, you will get uh, feedback, bugs, but probably, probably you will you your unique developer. No more developers will join to project your project, maybe. <laughs> and uh, the first race has to be good. Uh, has to be good, good in usability or in user interface. If not, the users will try and they maybe will not come back again. Uh, the users will use your application because a reason, the reason in my case is the community behind, the Ubuntu community. And uh, you, uh, if there is not an alternative for your application, it will be more easy for you uh, to get hype. And you will work very hard, you will put a lot of emphasis in your project, and probably you will get bad reviews. This will be similar to the Android market. They will not, uh, the users will not see your effort in the most of case. And you have to be your first customer. That is very important. I think you should create it for you. And you will have to work over the years in that. Don't think I several times excellent software with just one release and this is not enough, you have to work and improve it with the years. And uh, don't waste your time uh, if the project is not working. It could be a good lesson for a future project, maybe. Uh, like in my case, from open markers, I, read, uh, I got a knowledge for, for UNAF. And important question, can you live from, from your project? You can you cannot live from your product, usually, like in my case, all of my case are products. You can live from a, a support or service, but usually not from a project, uh, a product. And, but I think you have to try. To try. And thank you very much, merci beaucoup, for your attention. <laughs> if you have any question, I will try to respond. Yes, Martin. You talked about projects having hype and sites like OMG Ubuntu and Web Update covering projects that you've created and that helps build the hype. Have you ever contacted the authors of those websites when you have a new release in order to try and prompt them to write something about your software? Mm, no. I. I no, I didn't uh, did that. I read one time, one project is successful when someone talks about it, not yours, not, not you, and it's an important person who has a lot of, of person behind. Uh, I don't like to, to share, to, to send emails, to, to spam blogs about uh, these things. Usually, in my case, in Google Plus, uh, they are following me, and when I push a release, they are creating posts about that. But I don't like, uh, for me, it's like I span. Hey, could you write about my new version? 
is very small version, but it's important for me, but, uh, but probably not important for them. Then I prefer that um, it's important if the woof, the first uh, release of, of woof, were crap, really crap, and very ugly user interface, very sim uh, simple. And I think it's more important when they write about you when the software is m mature, when it is stable, when it is beautiful. And then I prefer that. Um, I'm not aware of seeing any community resources around any of those projects. Like, I don't remember seeing a UNAV forum or a, a the GUI for UFW. I don't remember seeing an IRC channel for it. Maybe I just didn't see. Did you, did you specifically not create them or did I just not find them or... Uh, did you plan on having any, like, a specific forum for these things or other community resources, or did you just let other people do that? Well, for me, community maybe is uh, a maze from users, okay? You see, you see there is a community behind because of the activity of the users. Uh, I didn't create forums, I didn't create anything for the applications, only one web, and the code in Launchpad, only that. And you see, the, you see the activity, really. Uh, open markets didn't have activity. But the other uh, projects, yes. yes. UNAF in special. UNAF was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Was, uh, UNAF killed the other projects. <laughs> because I didn't have a spare time. Maybe I have one hour in, in the day after the work. And then uh, it was, uh, you have to ha have a spare time. Maybe with, when you are young, young without girlfriend and without job, you can spend four hours a day for a project. But when <laughs> you are older, not. And it's, that is a problem, too. And about the community. The community, I think, is everything. It's, for example, the comments in an important blog. You can learn a lot of, from them, even. Any question more? You're welcome. Let's see what we'll go.